Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. And uh, today, I'm gonna be trying to upgrade my nomadic vehicle. Last time, we did our first farming as nomads. We first farmed somewhere by the water, and then our second farm was right here by the trader. And uh, so that means if we farm again, we gotta be not here by the trader. So we're gonna be going somewhere else. We do have finally blueberry and orange seeds, which we are going to need a 20 of each of those in order to get ourselves a spud gun. Plus we need to bring a farmer to this guy as well. Um, but before we do some more farming, cause we just did some farming focused stuff last episode. I wanna focus on, uh, I wanna upgrade this. This is a really, really bare bones vehicle right now. And I wanna make this more of a nomad camper vehicle, but it's gonna take a lot of resources. And I don't think we're gonna be able to use that much metal to be honest. I might actually deconstruct the metal because I need those metal. Cause I'm trying to figure out a system here. I wanna create a, uh, crafting loop system because right now all i have is just a chest i actually moved this chest from in to out but i, I have a chest going in and i have a chest going out but it, without these chests being hooked into each other uh we don't have a proper chain here so i have to keep transferring stuff back and forth so here's my idea that i wanted to try and i was just kind of testing it before the episode is i was thinking what if i create a chain of chests that wrap around and this looks like it's gonna be perfect. However, I tested with this real quick. Oh, oh, let me get this stuff. Unfortunately, it collides. It collides with the craft bot. So I cannot have this hooked in right there. So if I'm gonna do this, I think I'm gonna have to have it be uh, here, which then collides with these wheels right now. But that's why we're gonna be building a new system. All right, I gotta measure this out to figure out how many chests I'm gonna need to complete this chain. All right, so I think this means I need six chests, which means, holy cow, I'm going to need a lot of metal. 360 metal. That is a lot of metal, especially for someone who does not currently own a drill. And a drill, if I wanted to drill some stuff, uh, that's gonna cost me 30 metal plus uh, this many tier two metal. Oh my goodness. So we got some farming ahead of us. So let's get to some ruins. Let's explore a little bit farther. We're gonna unlock some more of our world, not unlock, but like, you know, discover some more of our world. And hopefully we won't die in the process. But uh, yeah, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna complete this crafting chain because once I have this crafting chain uh, completed, that essentially determines the size of my vehicle. And I need to, I wanna place that very prominently in my vehicle. All right, so I'm just going to head in this direction. What is that? What is with the hills in my world? How am I supposed to even get up to the top of that right there? That is a ridiculous cliff. That is, that is not a hill, that's just a cliff. That's just an outright cliff. Look at that, we got, this is pretty much a cliff right here too. I've just got a world full of cliffs, apparently. I'm having a big issue with hunger right now because all I've been using is milk and I'm about to run out of milk, actually, for that matter. So I think a harvest of carrots might be in order. I think carrots, I have a lot of carrot seeds. I think carrots might be the best thing for me right now as far as hunger goes. So the next body of water that I find, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a carrot farm and then we're gonna continue on our way until uh, raid time. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We got a farm with a whole bunch of uh, already made plots here. I can have some extra plots. This is nice. We even got another bucket. All right. What time is it? This isn't the best timing because I'm going to have a raid like in the middle of the day. But let's do it. Let's, uh, where's my, I know I put buckets down somewhere. There we go. There's my buckets of water. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a carrot farm right here. Yep, 42. I think 42 carrots should hold me over enough, right? You know what, maybe I should plant some dummy carrots just out and about here, and maybe it'll distract, uh, maybe it'll distract some of them. All right, now I have a beacon crafted. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my farm with the beacon. I'm gonna put the beacon in here nice and safe. All right, I got a couple minutes. Let's go raid that place over there. Oh no. Oh, there's a cliff. There's a cliff. Uh, not as easy to raid that place as I thought it was gonna be. Ah, here's the- No, that's another cliff. I'm stuck on a cliff. I've got cliffs all around me. All right, well, it looks like since the cliffs have deterred me, instead of finding a place to raid for the night, I am, uh, giving myself some time to get some more milk. 
Got a couple of cows here, right in the cornfield with a bunch of corn. And I got two minutes left. So hurry up and eat the corn, cows. Hurry up. Time's a ticking. About to get attacked. If you could eat a little bit faster, poop out that milk. Doesn't really sound right when I say it that way. Just, uh, it, it, uh give, give milk. All right, let's get going back. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Here we go, I have to defend my crops. Where are they? All right, there's some. Oh, oh, the distraction worked. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. All right, come after me, come after me. Just don't, oh my goodness, they might kill me. Oh, don't hit me. No, not my crops. No, they're actually succeeding. Oh no, this so why did, I didn't build defenses. Why didn't I build defenses? I forgot that I could build defenses. If I built defenses, this wouldn't have happened. I'm stupid. Why did I forget? Oh, they killed me. They killed me. Here, quick, respawn. Respawn. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my goodness. That was the least successful thing that has ever happened in this series so far. <laughs> A single carrot has survived. I cannot believe that. Why I, I I totally just it slipped my mind about building defenses for some reason. I was so focused on everything but the farm. And that is what happens when your mind gets distracted by other things. So uh, do I have any more carrot seeds? Uh, nope, nope, no more carrot seeds. I guess beets are the next best option. So I'm gonna plant a crop of beets now. And this time I'm actually gonna remember to build up a fence around this thing. And um, I know that this is my second time planting here, but technically I didn't have a harvest. So I don't think I've actually u technically used the resources of the land yet. I've still been here for less than an actual harvest, less than an actual day. So uh, now we actually have time though to go out and loot some places. Well, well, let me not forget to water. Oh my God, I am so forgetful today. My mind is just very frazzled. All right, our farm now has some defenses and this should definitely uh, protect our crops a little bit more. It's sad that we're not gonna have carrots because I think carrots are better for hunger than the beets are, but um, that's the consequences of being a dumb dumb. So let's head out and do some looting. How much time we got? We got all day. We got all day. All right, I'm just gonna send it. We can always just use the lift to get back up. Woo! All right, that was an unsuccessful landing. All right, I think I finished Luton here. It was okay. There wasn't anything that great. I only have four component kits. Um, where's my car? There it is. Hunger is definitely being a consistent issue. Uh, it is essential that I protect this crop tonight. And I have about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get back. So uh, I think that might give me enough time to loot at least one more place. All right, a minute to spare, not too bad. Should have some food. Oh, look at that. I watered this uh, tomato, so I got an extra tomato now. Not that tomatoes are really that useful for me at this point. But let us see how this uh, farm defense actually works. Oh, there's the carrot. I'll take the carrot right now, please. I'll actually eat the carrot right now. So yeah, see, no, I, on purpose, I, I didn't use the farm defenses on purpose because I just wanted you, I wanted you guys to have the contrast to see how useful this type of defense might be in comparison to no defense, you know? That's just, that's all it is, right? Now we have the before and after kind of information. So it's just super useful, you know, really uh, just, it's all about the information. It's, not, it's scientific, really. It's not because I was stupid and forgetful. Okay, I see one thing. Oh, there's a hay bot. Oh, there's a, oh my, there's a bunch of hay bots. Oh, it's because it's my second time in a row. I forgot about the raids increase in difficulty. Okay, they're trying to get, hey, 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 hey. Not the back, not the back, please. Okay, he's in the water. He's in the water, they're breaking in. They're breaking in, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is such a harder raid. No, he's in. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, okay. All right, is there, oh, I'm dead. Oh, this is bad. This is so much more difficult. Okay, 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 where is he, where is he, where is he? Oh, they broke down the whole wall. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh no, get out. Oh, this is going so bad. The first raid, the first two farm raids were so easy. These ones, I've lost everything. I've had two completely wasted harvests. I can't believe this. Okay, so, um, as you guys remember, when I didn't have the defenses up, I was only left with a single carrot. 
But after putting those defenses up, you can clearly see how I was left with... Th thanks for the single beat now. All right. Nom nom nom. So worth it. Okay. Guess I'll clean up everything now. I think I found a big flaw with my design. I need more support posts because once they destroyed two corners, uh, that dismantled the entire wall. So I need to make more vertical posts. Maybe even just a vertical wall, like a solid vertical wall would have been useful. Uh, so that, learn from my mistakes, learning from my mistakes. And you know what? Uh, we have to move now. I think we've been here for, we've been here for more than a day. So I think it's time to get out of here. I don't like this spot anyway, obviously. I think also part of what made this spot so difficult is that uh, things could spawn 360 degrees around the farm. Whereas if I do what I normally do, which is go by an ocean, then it blocks like a whole 180 degree area. So yeah, unfortunately now I don't really have much to plant. I think maybe I do have some more beets. Yeah, I got 14, I got 15 beet seeds, three carrot seeds. So that's pretty much gonna be my farm for the next time I decide to farm, but I'm skipping a night because having that many hay bots with no spud gun and very limited defenses is kind of ridiculous. You know, I got to admit, having a giant castle surrounded with a ton of defenses was definitely a lot easier and uh, less stressful when it came to farm raids. This nomad lifestyle, it, it's rough. It is definitely rough. I'm going to go over near the warehouse. We're going to find a new spot to loot. Actually, let's check on our metal production. 180. It's like half of what we need. All right, let me just make whatever chest I can make right now. I can make one. I can only make one. I need more glue. Let's get some more glue. We need to go to an ocean anyway. All right, I'm just driving off the cliff. Here we go. Woo! Man, I do not know what I'm going to do about the food situation, though. Oh, that was a nice landing. And I see a chest up here. The food situation, that was supposed to be, like, I just needed one harvest. I just needed one successful harvest, and I was supposed to be good to just go loot at my heart's content for a few days. But now... We're right back where we were at the beginning of this episode. Food's still an issue, and uh, and we really haven't gotten that much as far as our materials go. Oh, I found another packing station. Does that mean that there's another mechanic station nearby? This is like a normal, regular packing station. All right, this is definitely an area I don't recognize. I guarantee there's a boss in that forest somewhere. Oh, there's the ocean by the warehouse. I definitely don't want to get too close to the warehouse. We do need the glue, so let's go ahead and get some glue out of this ocean here. I'm not going to go very close to this warehouse, though, because uh, I haven't forgotten how traumatic the tape bots are. Especially when you don't have a spud gun to defend yourself with. All right, ocean time. All right, I got a ton of glue. Unfortunately, my input chest has not a lot of room, so I'm going to convert this, which was my fruit chest, which... <laughs> I'm not getting any, uh, any of that anytime soon. There we go. Put all the glue in there. Craft ourselves some glue. And we should be able to craft at least a few more chests. Let's follow the coastline over to that building over there. I still need a lot more metal. And I don't want to waste metal. I mean, it's not wasting, but I don't want to use a bunch of metal to build a drill to get more metal at this point. Because I don't think this is optimized. Well, I don't know. It's, I still Maybe that might be faster. It's just so hard to drill sometimes, especially with a single drill. Oh, here we go. Here's some stuff. I'm going to see what I can do, though. While this is crafting glue, I'm going to try to get some more scrap metal. But pretty much after this, even if I don't have enough to make all the chests I need, I'm going to start building the Nomad vehicle. I have an idea of how much space my crafting st system is going to take up, and I'm just going to try to accommodate for that. It's going to be really hard to build this vehicle to accommodate everything I want to accommodate. All right, well, the good news is I don't have any time pressure to come back to a farm anymore since that got destroyed and left behind. I love good news. <laughs> you know, after the last episode, I thought this wasn't going to be that hard, the nomad life, but uh, this has been a hard... This has been a hard episode. This entire episode so far is a struggle to feel secure enough to just start building my vehicle up. I've encountered so much hardship 
I mean, granted, a lot of the hardship was a result of my own errors and my own uh, mistakes. A lot of those were mistakes because this is not a play style that I am used to at all. Oh, there's some more beats. All right, good. I have not gotten into as much of a flow with this uh, play style yet compared to the last time when I was actually building up a base. Okay, so here's the plan. I've looted this place. There's some water nearby. I'm going to... It is about to be midnight. I'm gonna go to the water. This is, I think, another night uh, outside. Oh, boy. Uh, outside of the farming night that I did. So if we do a farm tonight, it should be resetting the raid level. So I don't think it would be that difficult of a far, uh, that difficult of a raid. So I'm gonna go to the water, wherever the water may be. I think it's right, is it right here? I don't like this area. There's not a lot of visibility from the shore and that is not appealing to me. I'm gonna find a nice spot. We're gonna build a farm. And then during the whole day, I'm just gonna build it redoing my vehicle. That's gonna be the plan. This is gonna be the, this is gonna be the day. I heard bad things. I heard bad things. Oh, I'm being chased by a farm bot right now. I am being chased by a farm bot right now. Ah, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm safe. I think I got far enough away. All right, this area looks nice. I like this. Look at this. This is pretty cool. You know what? There's a peninsula right here. I'm building my farm on this peninsula. You guys remember things like... Remember this peninsula? Remember peninsula like this? This is kind of similar to where I built my uh, first base. All right, it is time to start putting this farm down. Let me uh, get this stuff crafting though. All right, there we go. Unauthorized farming detected. That took a little bit longer to get this farm settled than I wanted it to, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a much more beefy farm uh, defense this time. Uh, here, let's get this out of there. Let's get that out of there. Let's put this over here. Let's do this thing, do that thing, and do all this stuff, and then we grab some more of this, we do that, that. So this time, I'm building flat up wall like this. I think this is gonna serve me better. This is definitely using a lot more resources, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Do I have more? All right, and then here's what I'm gonna be doing in the front. I'm just gonna be building it way out like this. This is gonna use a lot of wood, which is also the same material that I wanna be using for my new vehicle, but look at how much I have. I think I can spare some. I'm hoping I can spare some. So this is gonna take them, I think, way, way longer to get through than what I did last. But the thing that concerns me is the far, the Haybots, they really kind of seem to be able to get through this stuff quick. All right, I think we're good for this farm. So now let's start rebuilding our vehicle. Here we go. Let's put this stuff down. Let's get this off of here. Let's get this off of here. All right, so for our crafting thing, let me put this, can I put this on a lift? Can I? There we go. I'm gonna put you on the lift so I can build you up and down. So we're gonna have our output. How did I say that I wanted to do it? Like that. Oh, I need literally one more. One more chest. What am I missing? Uh, okay, I need just a little bit of glue, which is fine, but I need a decent amount of metal to complete this chain. There's one more chest right there, man. But at least, uh, so now I know how much space this thing takes up. So I need to build this onto a vehicle. And the difficult thing with that as well is um, I need to have access to these chests, easy access to these chests. So let's get, where's all my wood? This is all the wood I have to work with. And this wood too, I can bring this off of here. I'm pretty much gonna be dismantling this whole vehicle. Then I can probably use this metal to make that chest. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I also gotta be very conscious once nighttime gets coming, I gotta make sure that at whatever point I'm at in my vehicle building, I gotta be able to get everything out of the way of the raid. So this is kind of a... There's a lot of better ways I could have been doing this, but this is what we're doing, all right? All right, is this enough metal to craft that last chest? We'll put the metal in the input. Yes, I just need three more glue. All right, and there's the glue. So I gotta take it, put it over here in the beginning. And now I can craft myself the final, I hope, final chest. And then I will no longer have to do that annoying transfer thing. That means everything I put in any chest will be able to be used as an input material. Okay, so now while this is crafting, let's actually start building the base of this. Let's just build a 
floor network. I'm, I might have to like save some material by making some wireframe underneath this. All right, so essentially there is the outline of the area that this is going to be taking up. Do I have the chest? Yes, I do. Please tell me I can finish this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. So hold on, let's check. Right now the output has six glue and it says I have zero glue in here. So if I put the chest here, now I should say I have six glue. We have completed the chain. So I think this is probably the most efficient that I can create a crafting chain without having to craft tubes and stuff. But it's a ton of storage. I have a ton of storage now. This is a huge solution to my storage problem. So I'm very, very happy with this. Okay, so now as far as the vehicle goes, I think I'm gonna go long way. So either that's the front or that's the front. I'm gonna go with this being the front. I don't want to enclose my seat too much because when it comes to utility for this vehicle is I need to be able to get in and out of it very, very quickly, especially if, uh, if it comes to the point where I get stuck in a farm bot area. I need to be able to separate the farm bot from my vehicle as quickly as possible by hopping out. And if I'm stuck in an RV of a vehicle, that's just not going to be good. All right, so you know what else I need? Do I have... I need metal for wheels now. I would like some more big wheels. I need wood for that too. Oh, I can do this. I'm going to craft two more big wheels. This is going to be a six-wheeled vehicle. All right, where's my bed going to go? I need my bed to be in this vehicle as well. All right, so I'm going to put the bed right there. All right, we have our new spawn point back. What time is it? All right. Hi. Uh, oh, it tells me right there. I got six and a half minutes left to the raid. So bed's going to go there. I'm actually going to cover the front of this. Am I even going to have enough wood for this? This is all the wood I have to work with. I have an extra chest. Are you kidding me? I built an extra chest. Oh, why didn't I see that? I had an extra chest in one of my chests. I wasted 60 metal. Oh, I wasted 60 metal. I wish I could deconstruct that. Oh, well, that'll probably come in handy later. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to convert some of my metal into these pipe corners. And the reason is that these are just as durable as metal, and these are going to be what my wheels are attached to. So if I don't want my wheels to get easily severed, I, I'm not going to put them on wood. And also the corners are going to make it easier on the bearings to turn and stuff too near the body of my vehicle. And I think I got, I might need to craft some more bear. Oh, I, I don't think I can craft any more. Oh, I can craft some bearings. All right, let's craft as many. I can craft one bearing. I don't know if I'll have enough bearing to add all the wheels that I want to add. Three and a half minutes left, too. Well, at least almost everything. I need to get my other stuff back on here. All right, let's put... Uh, I'm going to put the fuel right here. And I need to get these things on here, too. I'll put some of the storage next to my bed. Let's move this fuel, actually. We'll just keep the, the storage consistent with the bed. We'll keep it nice and symmetrical. All right, it's almost about time. Oh, it's almost about time to start getting ready for this raid. Yeah, we got two and a half minutes. All right, so now every, I believe everything that I own right now is either in my inventory or on this vehicle. <laughs> vehicle, this is just a slab with a crafting station and a bed on it. So I need to get this out of the way of the raid. And I think I'm going to put this over the water. Yeah, I'm going to put it back here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Our third attempt at getting some food. Please let this be a successful defense. All right. This is looking way easier. There's a, oh, yes. The water is working perfectly. It's holding the hay bot back so I can deal with these greenies. Oh, this is so much better. I'm not... I don't even think they're going to get to my farm. Location. Location is so important. This just goes to show how important that location is. Look at this. He's going to he's gonna try to swim. You're a hay bot. You're allergic to water. This is so good. And he's going to give me some scrap metal because I need that for some more bearings. I kind of wish there was more hay bots now. All right. Peninsulas. I got to find peninsulas. All right. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to hope that this stuff can get harvested before 4 a.m., because otherwise another raid is going to trigger and I just kind of want to hang out here and build without having to worry about that. All right, here we go. A successful harvest, not a scratch on our defenses, which does mean that we get all of this stuff back. All right, there we go. All harvested up. I'm going to go ahead and pack up the wood since I might need it to build this vehicle, which means I'm going to have to get some more for the next time I build a farm and want to defend it. All right, so it seems like the collision of the craft bot actually extends out to here. Look at that. So that means this whole back end has to extend out to here, which means 
the center of my vehicle changes unless I do the same thing on this side, which I think I'm just gonna do that. All right, I went out and found a couple more hay bots so I could get some more scrap metal so I could build some more bearings because I needed two more bearings, but I'm getting hungry, so let's eat some carrots, my hard-earned carrots. There we go, that's the kind of hunger replenishment I'm talking about. And then beets will give me a little bit more. Um, actually, I'll just do a little bit of it. Look at this, I'm like full now. I haven't been full in so long. Okay, that's good. That, uh, we're definitely gonna have to plant some more carrots soon. But anyway, back to building. I think I now have enough to have all wheel steering on this thing. All right, so this is what we're looking at for dimensions right now. So this is getting kind of intense. I think my seat should be centered, so that way I can get out equally on both sides. Max connections reached? Ooh, I forgot. I forgot that that's a thing with seats. I gotta upgrade this. It only takes one bearing, or it only takes one uh, component kit to upgrade. I should have plenty of component kits somewhere. Look at that. There we go. All right, let's upgrade this seat. Now I should be able to hook it up to the engine. There we are. All right, let's hook up our engine to the wheels. Definitely gonna be all-wheel drive again. I feel like this thing is gonna be a much stronger gas guzzler than our last vehicle was. All right, we got our basic maneuverability now. Check this out. This is, uh... <laughs> It's definitely a tank. It is a chunky one. But having this crafting chain, I think, is uh, hopefully going to be worth it. All right, so now I'm just going to try to do some aesthetic stuff to it, which is, utility-wise, not going to be that great because I'm going to be adding more weight to it that I don't need. Technically, all I need is a slab, but hey, I think this would be much cooler if this kind of looked like a good vehicle, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I built through most of the night and most of the day. And before the sun sets, let me show you what I got so far. And I think it's pretty much like ready. Uh, I'm not sure how much I want to change with it right now, but um, you can see that the general shape is kind of like a trailer truck, but with a fixed trailer rather than a trailer hinge. And uh, you can see up in the front, I have the fuel canister. That way at any point, if I want to, I can just check how much fuel I have by looking right at the front of my vehicle. Uh, I got my seat inside. Of course, I have the top open, which uh, allows me to jump out of my seat without getting stuck in my vehicle. And I got big wide open doors on either side. So jumping out is super quick to get in and out of my vehicle. There's no obstruction whatsoever. So that was definitely a key part of the plan for this vehicle is being able to get in and out without any um, annoying obstructions. So as long as I hop out of the seat, it should be fine. Uh, if you look in the back, we got our bed right here, so I can go ahead and uh, respawn here at any point, get in my seat and drive away. I got a bunch of storage right next to my bed right here, and uh, just personal storage, and then my crafting chain is all contained in the back here, and there's just enough room for me to do a, a crouch right on top, and I can walk around back here, get access to every single chest. But say I don't want to jump in the back of my vehicle and I want to access everything from outside of my vehicle. I have these slits. I can uh, access the craft bot from right here. I can access this output chest right here. I can access the input chest right here. In the back, I can access any chest I want to in the back. There's also vacuum pump capability. Uh, here, let me actually turn this sideways so I can see the arrow. There we go. We got vacuum pump capability in the back with uh, access to the chest. And then on this side, we have a slit that gives access to every single chest here as well. So now let's go ahead and give this thing its first test drive. We're gonna see how it feels. And actually, you know what? I just realized I wanna move this engine to be right there. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that and then give it a bit of a pedestal. And there we go. Now we just gotta reattach it to all the wheels. That way it'll just be easy access if I wanna change the engine settings rather than being buried underneath the uh, the wood. All right, let's bump the engine up. Let's see how it feels. All right, here we go. I gave myself some very, very stupid wheel wells. They're just literally flat things over the wheels. Unfortunately, survival doesn't have wedges. So survival is really lacking some professionalism with this lack of wedges. But yeah, I don't have enough for a paint tool yet. I need two metal for a paint tool, so I can't even paint this thing up to look nice. But uh, before I forget, look at all these cows. Before I forget, I actually wanted to get all of these 
plots back, the soil back, so that when we go to our next farm, I won't be completely out of soil. I almost actually forgot about this. But while I'm doing this, uh, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of the vehicle? Are there any things uh, that you'd like to see added to it in the future? And other than the vehicle, what else do you think we should be doing in the next episode of Nomad Survival? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.